Well, how D. I'm EJ, you're you, and welcome to my channel. So today, y'all, we are continuing with the Wild West Quadratini Spring redesign. Ew. We are going to be giving Quadratini's newest resident, Butch, his very own Wild West yard. It is our first villager area build of this redesign, so let's get on into it. But before we do, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like, like it or leave a comment or anything. I mean, you don't have to do those now. You can do this at any point, but like try to do them. You know, it'd be nice. I would appreciate it. But yeah, okay, so let's get into this video. All right, Butch's house. We're already on the first villager house build. It feels like it's been like two seconds, but here we are. So first things first, and this is gonna be a pretty common step with all of these builds coming out, y'all. So get ready. We're gonna lay down some dirt. If we're gonna cover our entire, our entire, our entire map in dirt, every build's basically gonna have to start with dirt. So that's exciting and fun and we love it. Um, so, okay, can we speed this up a little bit? All right, that was easy, you know? Okay, so next thing down, we're going to extend this road. I think this road is gonna basically go across the entire bottom part of my island, um, and it's gonna go into like the proper town. But right now we're still working on the boonies, we're still working on the sticks, you know, we're out We're out beyond the town limits or whatever. Um, so the road's going out. Um, and then I also decided to make another variation because famously I did make this road pattern. Um, it, the, my creator code is in the description though. So you can, if you want to use this road pattern, you know, feel free. Um, I will say it's like still in progress. I haven't, I've only made what you see before you. So I don't have any other things, but I made a version that leads into this gravel road that I'm going to have going up next to Butch's house. And that's going to lead off into the, like the, um, like the natural park. I think there's gonna be like a canyony part in the bottom. Now I will say um, that one of my favorite things about making my own patterns and using them on my island is that like when I don't like something, I can just go in and change it. So like, I didn't like that. It looked like everything was lined up really nicely. So I just went in and fixed it. Love that. Um, but yeah, so now next thing I'm doing is just laying out all of my items. I like to have everything out visually. Um, as Mary Berry would say, lined up like little soldiers. Um, but yeah, and there was just a lot of back and forth with this build in general because um, I just really wanted to pull some things from my storage and put it down and, uh, you know, play around. So next thing I did was put down the fencing, um, although I'm going to move it really quickly, but I wanted to make a yard for Butch. So if you guys don't know, the inside of Butch's house, I haven't talked about the concept of this entire build yet, and we're like almost two minutes in. Anyways, um... The concept of this, Butch, the inside of Butch's house is like a car, uh, like a car place. Um, like there's 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 the race car beds and things like that. So I was like, oh, well, so why doesn't Butch run like the auto shop? So this is going to be like a, you know, this is, I think, leaning more into the the, the post-apocalyptic uh, part of the town and less into like the Wild West part of the town, but it's still like, you know, American West inspired. Um, so wide open spaces and all that stuff. Um, but it's going to be basically like the auto repair shop. Like this is where like people bring their cars if they're having, you know, uh, car problems with the, the accelerator or something. I, I actually I, I don't drive. I live in New York, so I, I don't have to drive. Um, so I don't know anything about cars really. Anyways. Um, <laughs> So I'm putting down this tiny library to be like a little mailbox and I'm playing around the orientation of it to make it look best. Also, hi Butch, there he is. The man of the hour. I, I'm i gonna gift him some clothes to make him look a little bit more country and less like he's going to a preparatory school. Cause right now he's got the sweater vest on, which is cute. Not very country though, but yeah. So because this is like a very flat part of the island and there's it's not going to all be flat like there's definitely going to be because when I think about like the Wild West I think about like the mountains in the distance there's going to be like a mountainy like uh inclining part of this um, island but right now it's all flat so because of that I'm trying to really make sure that I'm adding levels to my build so that's why I put the jail bars at the back of Butch's yard just because it gave some <clears throat> 
verticality to the design, my favorite word. Um, and then I also wanted to make sure that this wasn't just like a place of work for Butch. I wanted to give him a place to chill out. So I put some lawn chairs out, you know, cooler box so we can have pop open a cold one with the boys or whatever. Um, I don't know who his friend would be on the island. I don't have a lot of the villagers yet. I also recently, um, another fun thing about me is that I, I recently decided uh, which villagers I'm gonna have on this island and I'm basically getting rid of all of my villagers except for Zell. Um, and I got rid of Gonzo. Butch replaced Gonzo, I didn't mention that. Um, also me realizing in this moment that it's bunny day and I don't know how I didn't notice it because literally Zipper T is like running around beyond that. It's not bunny day, it's not bunny day, but it's like the start of bunny day in my in my game. Um, so, uh, yeah, cursed, anyways. So, yeah, so now we're just, like, placing it down. A lot of this was, like, okay, how am I going to fill in space here? I wanted to make sure that it was still a functional area while still, um, playing towards my clutter core instincts and just putting out a bunch of crap everywhere. Um, and also I wanted to make it look still, you know, a Western, country, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I was really trying to play around with making it look industrial, but not like a junkyard. I was trying to walk that line the entire time, basically. Um, but you know, I still wanted to make lived in and you know, I, you know me, I, I like to, I like to have like a little industrial twist to everything. So I did still put down like trash bags and things like that. Don't think you like that oil spill pattern? I thought it was so cute. I just literally looked up the oil spill on the pattern searcher, whatever, and I found it and I was like, ah, cute, love it. Um, and then the, I, I wanna make sure that I'm not completely neglecting to put any greenery around here. Um, I feel like these last two builds, I've really been focusing so much on the items I'm putting around and less of the natural things that are happening around there, even though it's a desert there's still plant life like plants still grow in the desert it's just it the vegetation looks different you know um so right now i think these vibrant green shrubs really they do stand out a lot um but i think once i kind of time travel either to early spring or to late fall i think it's, they're gonna look a lot more muted and things like that. Um, the other thing I'm doing, and I did this for the Nook build as well, um, which by the way, if you haven't seen the Nook's build, go watch it, um, is I made these grass standees and I'm going to customize them into the fall customization because it makes it look like dried out grass that I'm gonna put around and in front of like piece of furniture, like little tufts of grass or growing up around it, you know. And then I was playing around with this umbrella stand. I, I don't know why I, I thought that there should be an umbrella stand there, but th there won't be. I just, you know, I was looking at the customization options. Anyways, okay. Um, but yeah, and then I decided to put down um, just some weeds and things like that around. Um, and then the wood, this lovely wooden stool. Another great way to fill space is just, you know, put down some custom patterns and things like that. So I just put down some of these stepping stones. I really love these stones. Um, I think they're really great. Uh, you definitely need to check out these, this creator. They have some great patterns there. Um, and then I also just added another little natural moment. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to do another one of these like rock formation moment things that I did, uh, similar to over by Nooks. Um, I'm still kind of figuring out exactly how these work um, and the best way to do them. But, you know, we experiment, we grow. And now here we are. Time travel a little bit later because I like the sunset vibes for this part, but uh. I mean, I think that this is like a really functional and cute, like individualized uh, villager yard. I think that's one thing I definitely want to kind of focus on is really making each villager very distinctive. You know, I was really, when I was going through and picking my villagers out, I really wanted to think about like, you know, what they could bring to the island. And so with Butch and making his yard into like the car shop, I think it's like just a great way to really like give each villager a unique space and have it be like villager led design in a way. Um, 
And I just like how this looks. I like that there's levels to it, even though it's like a flat desert place. Um, I don't like that you can see the grass in the background, but you will not be able to see that soon. And yeah. So that is the build, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's another quick one. It's another quick one. I'm definitely going to try and get some longer builds going in here, some bigger areas that we're building. But all that said, our question to prove that you watched to the end today comes from Leafy Crossing. And it is, if you were a potato, what way would you like to be cooked? <laughs> I just giggled when I heard that question. So answer that down below if you watch the end. And as always, if you did watch the end, why don't you go ahead and subscribe anyways um, and leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next Wild West video. Bye, y'all.